Hey everyone, welcome back to my post Peak Bloom Sakula watch update in High Park for May 2nd, 2021. The rain and strong winds of the past few days have managed to knock down some more blossom petals, though the mount remaining promises to hold out for the rest of the coming week. As petals fall, an average of 50% of cherry blossoms remain on the trees in High Park. Starting in the sports fields, we see over 50% of the blossoms remain on the trees. This area does seem to show the most loss in the park. Most branches show only the dark red stems without petals, though there is still a good amount of actual cherry blossoms to see and enjoy. Cherry Hill is currently showing between 45 to 55 percent of the remaining bloom, with different trees noticeably showing more or less as you make your way down the winding path. Walking across the top of the grassy hillside, you will see trees that are already near empty, with others, including the large sukula that was featured in the live stream video, still having a good amount of bloom, but leaves are starting to show. Here are some more examples of the trees in bloom on Cherry Hill. The path along Grenadier Pond continues to show beautiful trees with up to 50 to 55 percent remaining blooms to enjoy. First seen are the small groupings of trees at the base of the hill as you walk along the path toward Grenadier Pond. The next grove of trees, located by the dock, also has a nice pink and white canopy of remaining blossoms to take in. Following the path further down, you find even more trees spread out in sections until you reach the steep hill where these trees have closer to 45% of blooms remaining. Here are some examples captured by Grenadier Pond. Finally, we make our way over to the collection of trees near the High Park Zoo and the Jamie Bell Adventure Playground. The trees in this area were slower to open, so they are the fullest in the park and currently are at about 55-65% to 65 of bloom remaining. Besides the better known area along the paved path closest to the zoo, there's another corridor of trees to see to the right of the playground that follows the contours of the duck pond. Tucked away with younger trees, this area will definitely be a showstopper in the years ahead, as these photos and video can attest to. Rain in the forecast will help knock down even more of the delicate cherry blossom petals. This means this week will be the final chance to see any significant amount of bloom before there are only a few scattered clusters of flowers left for Mother's Day weekend. Please respect the park and others when you are out to help keep our spaces clean and safe. Anytime you visit the park, it's essential to follow these health guidelines. Social distance from others by keeping at least two meters or six feet apart. Avoid public crowds or engaging in large gatherings. And if ever in doubt, protect yourself and others by wearing a mask that adequately covers your nose, mouth, and chin. And that wraps up this episode of Sakula Watch. Thanks for watching. Please comment below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and share this video. And remember, you can always visit sakulaandhighpark.com to see the full update and high quality photos. Be careful, be safe, and watch for more updates soon.